I'm Megan O'Dell and I am a graduate of Richland Community College. I started my Richland journey actually as a senior graduate of Eisenhower. I went and took a, a summer class because you know wanted to get that college feel. Did really good in speech, um, 101, it was awesome. And then went to Eastern, had a lot of fun, had to come back, but I was happy to come back to a place that I had already met some instructors, I already knew the type of um, education, the quality of education that I was gonna receive and that offers you not only the same exact schooling, education, you're taking the one-on-one -on -one classes that everyone else is paying thousands of dollars for and you're saving like 75% of that. Each semester I gained another network with a professor. I always had a favorite professor of the semester, but you know, it's because you attach, you know, how well you're doing in a course to the instructor and they, they push you and they motivate you. Finished up at Richland after two years and then the transfer process, I could not believe how easy it was. They were so helpful. I mean, as long as you're willing to go in there and do the legwork as well. I wouldn't be able to have excelled in writing the way that I have if it wasn't for, you know, that tough love or tough instruction um, that I received from one of my English professors right here at Richland. They challenged me. She forced me to use those very meticulous grammar rules but make all the difference in putting together an incredible paper, something that the reader is just, you know, captivated in. I did not know that news was going to be where I ended up or where I had started my career. I, I think there's a lot left to do, of course, but I always knew I was in arts, I was involved in musical theater, I was in show choir, I always knew that entertaining and then connecting with people and working alongside people as a team to create something bigger was always something I wanted to do. I went and visited WAND news station to kid. I was so proud because I was, you know, telling all my classmates, you know, this is where I'm from, you know, I'm going to be their summer intern. You know, I already spoke it out there. I was going to do it. I had no idea that I was going to be. But I got there. I spoke to the director. I said, can I please be considered as a candidate? What do I need to do? I took that initiative because I found with being at Richland, taking the initiative to get my transfer um, items together, taking the initiative to talk to my professors always and with a good result talked to the director, applied, got the position, continued the rest of the semester, and then was the summer intern for WAND. So much fun. I mean, that place is so cool. And you get to work alongside people that you've been watching report the news since you were five years old. Very surreal. They did not have a reporter position open. I started as the video editor at 2 a.m. Did that for a month, and then a position finally opened up, and again, went into that office, and I said, I want to be considered. What do I need to do? They were like, well, you've got to work really hard, and I'm already taking a math class. My professor was very accommodating of my schedule. She had no idea that I was able to do it all, and I didn't think I was able to do it all, but I did it before, so I was going to do it again. I trial ran for reporting for a little bit, and they offered me a position, so I signed a contract, and I'm here for two years. As a woman, you know, being able to go out there and actually make a career out of things that you love to do, is a reality and that you can do all that locally. You know, you don't have to go to a different state to go to a university to make the networks and the professional feel out there. You can do it right here in Decatur. This institution is built and is succeeding by the efforts of all of those instructors and the staff. So overall sweep, it's an incredible place and they want you to succeed. I'm Megan O'Dell and I choose Richland. <laughs>